a note on the clones um, as, as far as like being cheaper um, Max cut their everything all the prices were, were cut basically to try to compete and uh, Spindler was really um, when he was getting ousted even uh, started blaming some of the product managers for, for cutting too deeply in, in, into uh, profit margins so on and so forth um, it should also be noted that I, I had mentioned the uh, possible Sun merger. There was also a possible IBM merger. Uh, none of these f basically fell, it, all of them, you know, fell apart. Um, there were also further investigations to try to sell Apple. Um, of course, we all know what happened, but uh, like I said, many attempts to, that it just seemed like all was lost. And um, it really all started with the advent of, of Windows 3.0, where just market shares just started tanking and tanking. And um, I just I wanted to give this brief um, overview to try to finally bury the clone myth, which will now lead me to finally setting OS 10 free. When uh, Apple switched to Intel. That did really one thing, one major thing uh, that I want to bring up, and that is it could run Windows. Now, for many Mac heads that uh, use uh, arguments against Windows, so on and so forth, I, I literally watch a lot of Mac users argue, argue, argue against Windows, but it seems to be okay to have Windows so long as it's run on a Mac. And I, and I would probably say that Apple agrees with that. Uh, even though the, that argument is contradictory and I, and I personally don't have any windows on any of my Macs, that is the result. Um, I'm going to give some links to things where it shows uh, OS X market share versus Apple's PC hardware market share, which are not in sync. Their P, their, the hardware market share is larger than, than the actual operating system market share, and that smacks of people using Apple hardware for other operating systems. After all, if I can put it quite succinctly, Apple is an OEM that sells to all operating systems. Apple is also a software company that only sells its operating system to itself. Think about that. So, to surmise, all of those that really want to damage Windows, Apple has been doing really nothing more than supporting it making it stronger. And this also gave rise to a lot of um, articles that happened uh, a while back and uh, Sons actually did a video on this on is Apple just going to completely bypass OS 10? Now a lot of you are going to go, oh no, no, that's not going to happen. But, but here out the reasoning, Apple basically went to Intel and slowly but surely larger and larger parts uh, of the Apple market share, the difference between OS 10 market share and hardware share is dedicated to, let's just say, Windows. Over time, if this trend continues and Windows becomes the largest client operating system to Apple hardware, what really is the interest to keep providing an operating system, really? Now, I'm going to answer that later, but this is the reasoning behind this analytical thinking. And it, the question can be asked, is Apple as an OEM wanting to basically gain more market share of the Windows hardware market. And I can tell you that Dell and HP are answering Apple because they themselves know that Apple is beginning to dent their market share in terms of Windows hardware. That's why you see all the, the Dell's new little colorful notebooks, these little Mac mini wannabes, HP's uh, iMac and all this other uh, that they, they're, they're making to counter um, Apple's inroads. Now I know many of you are still balking at the idea and certainly a large portion and the larger portion of the Max is still dedicated to OS 10 but notice the trend and it behooves Apple as an OEM to want to get more hardware out, out there but it does not behoove Apple as the software company selling the operating system as a product for that venture. And quite frankly, one needs to ask themselves, well, if there is no S10, do I still want an Apple? Or, if Windows is your option, of all the vendors that are out there, would Apple be your choice to run Windows over the other OEMs? 
And feel free to answer those questions. I think that's an interesting uh, question to answer. So to answer that question that I posed earlier, why would they keep OS X? Here's my theory. When Apple switched to Intel, they left PowerPC architecture. Even though I'm a big Risk fan, let's face it, the, the majority of the retail computer market is Intel, all right? So Apple's thinking, if they would have released OS X under PowerPC, I would agree at that point it would have been complete and utter failure for the hardware OEM because who else is going to really run on PowerPC? Um, so Apple makes the Intel switch and hear me out starts gaining more and more and more and more and more of the Windows hardware market. Up until a point to where Apple says, well, we actually own a good chunk of the Windows hardware market, it is now time to set OS X free. And they would, as the OEM hardware side, compete just like HP, Dell, and Gateway and the others have been for years over one operating system. This is why I'm telling most of or those that say, oh, hardware sales, hardware sales, hardware sales, no. If other uh, OEM vendors have been existing for years over one OS, that being Windows, Apple's not going to have a problem. So I would say to Apple, and this is my, like I said, that's my, that's, that's my theory, and I'm guessing that if that is the current strategy, strategy, and I think it may be, that release OS X now, at least for the enterprise level. Because the day that will come for that, that, that line where they say, well, we own enough of the, of the Windows hardware market, will come too late in terms of the enterprise server markets. I think OS X server needs to be released. They need to start working together with uh, other hardware platforms, get out there and be on par with Unix and Red Hat Linux versus Windows, basically. And so they'll be there in the, in the early run. It's kind of like saying what, what Scully was saying. He was, uh, in hindsight, was saying we should have made the clones in a, in a hell of a lot earlier, and that would have put us in a position to equally fight uh, IBM and Microsoft. They would have been in a stance where their hardware is out there and their operating systems out there are far more than, than it was. This is kind of a parallel argument in saying, look, right now is the time at least to enter the server enterprise markets. You could probably hold off a bit for the retail market, but the, talk, the clock is ticking for this, all right? Uh, one day, uh, Linux will pass OS X by if OS X is still bound by Apple hardware. So again, to summarize that theory, Apple had to switch out of PowerPC to become Intel to make themselves a, a viable OEM in today's market. And that basically means as an OEM they sell to all operating systems. But that also means as a software company they only sell to themselves, which is the glitch in the system. And uh, it is my theory that Apple is, is gauging the days when they own enough of the Windows hardware market that they feel comfortable enough, I guess, in their own mind to set OS 10 free. But again, I will say set OS 10 free now, at least for the enterprise level, and uh, really seriously consider for the retail level. Um, OS 10 will not be unstable. Apple knows this. I know that there's Apple fans that think that. That ain't going to happen. Linux is not unstable. Solaris is not unstable. Uh, many of the Unix distros are not unstable. They all run. On, they all can run on x86. Windows on, is unstable because of the way it is internally designed. It has its own issues. It has its issues with backwards compatibil compatibility and other stuff. That is the Windows fault. Do not project Windows problems on other operating systems problems just because they run on x86 just be, and just because Windows is the dominant OS on x86. It is completely illogical to make those assumptions. So if anything I hope what I've done in this vid is is debunk the clone myth as a reason to not to not uh, free OS 10 and debunk any of these glitches that people think that OS 10 is going to uh, perform with, with uh, less uh, you know, less quality viruses, I, all this slew of garbage that people talk about that's going to happen to OS 10 if it's allowed on this mythical Wintel hardware, which to me I just I can't completely grasp. Um, but anyway, I hope that um, I've set something straight and that people have learned something. Thanks for watching.